Ladies and Gentlemen, herzlich willkommen zurück zu einem Jack and Speck React. Wir schauen uns heute Let's Game It Out an. Und zwar geht es hier um den Cooking Simulator, Cakes and Cookies. Und äh, ja, ist ein englisches Video. Entschuldigung, Blind Spectator ist natürlich auch mit dabei. Kein Problem, aber das beinhaltet ja Jack and Speck <lacht> und, quasi. <lacht> genau, und wie gesagt, das, das Video ist dann halt auf Englisch und der Typ, der spielt die Sachen wirklich komplett falsch und bis zum Ende falsch. Und jetzt schauen wir uns mal, was er hier draus gemacht hat. Also viel Spaß damit. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Cooking Simulator habe ich auch. Allerdings fällt es mir immer schwer, einfach nur Scheiße zu bauen. Ich muss bei mir ein bisschen laut, wie ich das gerade merke. So. Ich habe ein bisschen Zeit gelassen, ich habe ein bisschen Zeit gelassen. Also insgesamt sieht das ja schon mal sehr detailliert aus, dieser Cookie-Simulator. Ist er auch tatsächlich, ist nur ein bisschen frickelig zu steuern. Kommt dann, ja. Also wenn man so andere Sachen anguckt, hier, ähm, die wie beispielsweise auch Landwirtschaftssimulator und so weiter und so fort, legen schon Wert darauf, dass die Sachen gut aussehen. I'm just hashtag excited. I mean, it's all the things you expect, like butter, baker's yeast, block party cream cheese, dark chocolate, carrots nobody wants, bacon that everybody wants, hashtag chewy, hashtag gonna leave you open. Wer, Looks like here in the middle of the mixers, aber mit bacon. also some miscellaneous dough yeah. lying around. But who doesn't love a giant glob of cookie dough just lying around in room temperature? Pretty cool, though, we've got all these drauf. attachments, which you know, I definitely know what Klingt these nice, all do. Yeah. And then over here, we've got our standard stuff, as well as this dough dispenser, and of course, the Deep fryers, which in this environment it looks like Alter, long trays for us to make like donuts and stuff. I believe over here is where we put our finished baked goods to sell to the adoring public out there. Looks like we picked was the right street to be on. What with all this was. no foot traffic? Mm. Was there like a bomb scare? How come there's nobody out there? Anyway, over yonder, this is our cake decorating station, complete with a pastry oh, syringe, as well as this very hostile looking filling gun, as well as some very exciting die ist direkt aus Bioshock, die filling gun. Very exciting. Oh, and what's this thing? Frosting Haben container. Denn das ist das ja auch. Well, come with me. Ja, ja, genau. Mm, yes, get it all over the nozzle too. We also have a second fridge filled to the brim with fruit and chocolate and even more exciting canisters of toppings. You know, like cranberries, blueberries, white pearls, hashtag wedding, jelly beans. Ich hoffe, das sind keine Dinge. Das Auffüllen sieht seltsam aus. Ist da ein Limit? In this case, we're gonna try and guess, is there a limit to how many jelly beans I can pull out of this container? Let's see. I'm gonna go with a yes and a no on this one. Technically, there's apparently 29 kilograms here. Oh, look at that one jelly bean go flying slowly. That's like 64 pounds. But also, it's clearly having an adverse effect on the frame rate. So for now, let's put these jelly beans just down right here. Yep, that's the good stuff. That's what I wanted when I put the jelly beans down. It's definitely not a living being. Well, before we continue the tour, I think we need to handle this frame rate problem. And I think that means creating a decadent meal with these jelly beans. And there's nothing more I like than jelly beans in my cookie dough. Hashtag crunchy. So let's see. Let's pick up this kneading bowl here. Plop that right down. Get our dough. Plop it right in there. And now for the added ingredient. A sumptuous amount of jelly beans. I just really wish we could use this pile over here. I don't know. Maybe we still can. Like, what if I use this cake tray here? <laughs> see if we can't get it under here. Great. Yes, liberate those jelly beans. Oh, God, this, this is exactly what I intended. Don't I have some explosives or something somewhere? Oh, right. I've got a phone now. Huh? Ah, here we go. Let's go shopping. See, this is what I was looking for. Firecrackers. Let's just order a couple of these. <laughs> Thank you, same day munitions. Okay, I'm sure that nothing can possibly go wrong with this. Just like a birthday cake. <laughs> well, besides the toxic gas it shot into the air, I'm not really sure that did anything. I guess let's try the other four all at once this time. Oh, man. Nothing. Just a little burnt mark on the wall. Okay, fellas, you asked for it. I didn't want to have to do this. <laughs> yeah, oh absolutely safe and secure. And we'll just take this blowtorch <laughs> over here. Couldn't be more simple. Okay, mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> um... Whoops, looks like the game crashed. 
Oh, well, it's probably it. for the better. If nothing oh, else, yeah. we have the frame rate. Right and frame. lastly, on our tour, <laughs> six beautiful ovens. All ready for us to put in beautiful baked goods. All right, so what are we going to make first? This time around, we got to pull out our phone, which is where we get all of our recipes. So let's see. What is the first thing we want to make? Sprinkle cookies. Guys, in the show Okay, first step. Unbleached flour, it's baking powder, fire, and salt. Let's grab one of these, guys. Uh -oh, none of these are unbleached flour. Where is the unbleached flour? So be it. We're just going to use biscuits crumbs. I like my sprinkle cookies. Hashtag buttery. Now for baking powder and salt. <laughs> I think those are going to be over here. Yep, it's there's baking powder. powder. Wasn't paying attention, so I'm sure this amount is just fine. Okay, so guy, in, let's so, so, grab our salt. Um, just I give it a little dash. We gotta keep it hashtag food. fit around yeah. here. And then we gotta mix using the hook attachment. Come here, hook attachment. Make all my dreams come true. It's magic time. Now all we gotta do is transfer <laughs> it to a pot. Okay. In dumb. you go. Delish. Step two. Butter cream cream cheese vanilla sugar okay this won't okay. be that hard butter come here let's have some fun with it though let's see if we can get it into the bowl this way uh -huh. butter i need you to cooperate <laughs> and okay yeah, now for the cream cheese <laughs> slam dunk it into the ground first for good luck and then right into the bowl now all we need slam is vanilla sugar uh, is granulated sugar close enough oh wait i can set up dispensers there's the vanilla sugar great now we can make this recipe to exact specifications nummy nummy num you know and while we're here since we missed it the first time we might as well add some of this unbleached flour now that i know where it is you know just to make up for lost time do you think this is too much oh it just changed color turn into something beautiful please now we need to add almond milk vanilla extract in an egg. I'm sure I can eyeball the amount we're gonna need for this. By that I mean the entire container. Ooh, delectable. Vanilla extract, there you are. Now you need to be gentle with this because this stuff is really strong. You don't want to use too much. So only oh, dump uh, in one God. full container. And then gently put that down. That's exactly what I meant. In fact, go ahead and add some of that for flavor. And by that, of course, I mean Was? all of it. And lastly, one egg. Okay, I think right. I can make this first try. Just give it the old heave. Ho, ha! Huh, well that's something. Really, I can just throw eggs at the wall? Can I just keep doing this? Can I just keep throwing... Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what did I just do? Was that food dye that did that? Hold on, we gotta be sure. <laughs> Come here, you. I need you for a little experiment we're running. Oh my god. Hold, please. Okay, there oh we go. Much better. <laughs> the colors of the rainbow. You know, like red and blue, green, purple, and orange, and egg. For some reason, this wall here didn't allow any customization. Thankfully, though, we got some eggs up above. Well, I totally what I doing? Right, an egg. Yeah. Well, that should be easy enough. <laughs> and let it rip. Now it's time to add some sprinkle candies and flour mixture. Okay, let's just go down Make here, sure pick up a pot, never mind all the eggs, and let's get us some Sprinkles. Okay, so Zeit, sprinkles. Auch wenn ich das ist allein schon mixture, die ganze Wand da zu like bewerfen damit. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some delicious biscuit Der crumbs. Mm, back back to the mixing. <laughs> mm, beautiful toxic fumes coming off that one. Ooh, look at this. This is great. Tastes like birthday. Transfer sprinkle cookie dough <laughs> into round cookie cake pan. Ah, jeez, these are cupcake pans, and these appear to be stars. Wait, I think I see it. Oh, you little scam, try to hide from me. Oh boy, now the real magic happens. Where we pick up this big glob of dough and just make little radioactive treats. I think I might have made this a little bit big. <laughs> is that 18 liters? Am I reading that right? All I can tell you is these default ones are 1.5. So I think I might be making a lot of cookies here. Let's go grab some of these other pans just for funsies. I don't care if they're supposed to be for cupcakes. I mean, really, a cupcake is just like a soft cookie, right? And also some stars and these little mini donuts <laughs> and whatever this <laughs> is. Can't forget about you, Wahrscheinlich kann man mit dem Zeug auch Wände verdichten. Und ich habe all this Okay, so we set the temperature on the left and then we set how long we want it to go on the right. And we would want that because each one of these has their own instructions. I don't think I need to set a timer. I'm just gonna eyeball it the old-fashioned way. Okay, we got six different delicacies in there. Time to let them all cook. Now all we need to do is wait. Oh god, I'm so bored. Come on, finish. Are you done yet? Let's just check it real <laughs> quick. Hey, are you done oh, yet? I've been so long find out. Are we in the good zone? That is not the good zone. Back in you go. Oh, I bet these are good though. Let's check in. <laughs> Ah, bake to perfection, but don't take my word for it. Let's use the thermometer. Mmm, <laughs> delish. And what about you? How are you doing? What? More perfection? Okay, this one's actually good, just barely. And this one is slightly underdone. This one appears to be fair.
barely underdone. And these guys are just perfect. Time to decorate. Well, first off, I think these hearts speak for themselves. <laughs> so we're going to serve those decorated. right up. Yeah. Now, square yeah, geil. ones, we're going to actually decorate a little bit. So let's go ahead and just put this... Oh, jeez. I also learned that you can make your own custom frosting, which starts out as a basic white. But then we can just take one of these food colorings. Go ahead and just dump it in right at the top. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. That's kind of cool, I'm going to get in there. And then once this bottle's the run out, go ahead and grab another one. And down also, the hatch it goes. And rinse. And repeat. <laughs> That's the <laughs> good stuff. Oh, and also I can tell you why the game crashed and I had to reload it. And now everything is on this wall. But not this wall. What the hell is going on? on here well i'm not gonna question it not when there's decorating to be had and pick up your spatula get some of your <laughs> oh god can i just slather this on how do i shake them out of here Ugh, come on how do i get them out of this thing oh there's a pick up pastry button silly me let's go ahead and put it on this little thing to make it easier let's go ahead and just Ugh. wait can i just okay cool uh-huh and a third layer <laughs> and a four... no <laughs> god that looks vile you know these sure stack a lot better before you put icing on them uh oh well don't worry i can still That's frost you guys from down there Okay. okay, let's take these beautiful plastic monstrosities. Let's line them up. Yeah. Okay, where was I? Come here, star cake. Mmm, you're looking real edible. And not at all like I'm eating drywall. You know what, by the way? All this beautiful countertop really kind of hard on the eyes. So let's decorate this one over here. My eyes are thanking me already. So let's not forget this is actually a giant cookie. One that looks to be a little thick. So let's fix that. You know, I take it back. I don't think we'll be doing that. In fact, I'm pretty sure this thing could stop a bullet. Okay, fair enough. Just decorating it is then. So one of these we're going to make just a nice solid black. You just hang out over there for now. And the other one's going to be a nice solid white. <laughs> We're going to get a nice normal looking looking colors, colors, it's a totally normal looking cake. Although, my God, that is a thick layer of frosting. And we can't forget that this is still a cookie. Specifically, a sprinkle cookie. So we can't forget about these old things. Okay, easy. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got to do something about this. This giant cookie cake thing is starting oh, to look kind of normal. And we can't have that. Can I put this thing back in the pan? No. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. Ooh, but I bet we can use some of these like lime curd blueberry filling yeah like let's just give it a little bit of a, a little dash of this yes now we're talking get it all over let's add some of whatever this is let's cut to the chase here there we go. That made it a lot faster. Ooh, and some coconut cream. Mm-hmm. And some chocolate <laughs> custard. I'm not gonna lie. I think what really sells this is the glass all over it. Damn it, it still looks pretty good. Let's see what else we can do. Here, have a dash of food coloring. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. And a single egg for good measure. Oh, my God, look how the egg showed up. It's just a tiny <laughs> little egg. Well, that's too precious to <laughs> see. <laughs> Time, to other eggs. Time to do the hard work. <laughs> oh, my God, what am I doing with my life? Okay, let's complete the ensemble. Let's grab some of this black dye right here. Head on over to our pastry syringe and fill it up. Just keep on hurling it everywhere. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's make him mad. Give him a little <laughs> nose. <laughs> now he's really upset. Okay, he he looks looks almost perfect, but I yeah. think I know just the <laughs> thing to make him complete. Some bacon. You know, I don't know if it's cooked. <laughs> I don't bacon want to know if it's cooked. All part. I need to know is that I get to give him creepy little bacon fingers. You know, in fact, why stop there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're entering nightmare territory. <laughs> Yes, who's ready to come to your children's birthday party? And out you go. Okay, you know what? I know we've got all this extra dough here, but I really just want to make something else. So let's just get this all out of the way. I think it's time for a donut break. This should be easy. Add to a bowl. Water. Done. Enriched flour. No need to measure. Just wait until the flour seems to not be mixing with the water anymore. This spiel bräuchte halt auch einen multiplayer modus Now, I like my donuts a little on the sweet side. Weißt du, so I'm going to go with a nice modest nine kilograms um, of sugar, which is something like yeah. 38 cups. And Fertig machen kann, beziehungsweise Konditorei. Das hätte viel Fehlpotenzial. Mit Sicherheit, ne? Ich weiß nicht, ob das, äh, hat das, hat das keine Multiplayer-Modus? Nee. Okay, Aber, ähm, ich weiß nicht, wie das mit den Rezepten da drin aussieht, also, ob das jetzt, ähm, quasi sogar so ist, dass, dass der eine oder andere dadurch spielen, kochen lernen kann oder spielen, backen lernen kann. Also die Rezepte, die gehen eigentlich echt alle, die ich bisher gemacht habe zumindest. Ja. Okay. Deswegen also der eine ganz coole Sache. Ähm, die Kids spielen und später können sie es gegebenenfalls, weil sie sich beim Spielen angeguckt haben, anwenden. Und einen dann bekochen. 
Uh, cool, now it's 23 liters of dough. Ja, Transfer donut dough into the dough dispenser. Okay, you wird schon reichen, it's all gonna wenn, fit in there. Wenn es mal so sein sollte, no, dass Kinder vorhanden sind okay, oder so. Donut time. Können Sie Spülmaschinen ein- und ausfahren. There you go. That's pretty easy, right? Ooh, and we got these other rings here. Let's switch to the churro attachment. I do love me some churros. Okay, let's switch again. Um, okay, and then we've got whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Soon we're gonna have some delicious donuts. Oh my god, I feel like I've been standing here for like 15 minutes. Aber mit Knopfdruck das fährt schon automatisch runter. So was bräuchte ich auch. Vergessen anzumachen. Ja, das wäre natürlich nicht schlecht, wenn du das hast. Aber naja, Industrien. Well, I'm not picky. Oh, After all, I'm sure someone will eat these. Actually, now I'm curious. Can I use these as like a garnish for the rest of the cake? Is that a yes? Oh, I think it's considering that another layer of the cake. Well, hang on a second then. Let's see. Something over here can be the middle layer. Like this. Plop that right on top. And now give it that little bow on top. Naturally, I can't add another one. Gotta maintain the symmetry. And of course, don't forget to ice the whole thing. You know, for that nice Tupperware container look. Why? Let's see if we can't make this look oh, more check out. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. That delicious Eggs Benedict look. That's what I want on my pastries. <laughs> that's okay. I think we can salvage this. If there's one thing I've learned a little garnish can save anything. You know, like some of this floor butter. I can't really just put this as a garnish, can I? <laughs> oh, of course I can. <laughs> you know how you want this in your cakes? Just full sticks of butter with the wrapper and dentions. So, Amerikanisch, wie es nur geht. Can I use some of... Uh, <laughs> yes, okay, let's put block that right on top. <laughs> Why am I allowed to do this? I mean, I know I've been upset for years that as a child I never got my butter eggshell cake. And let's make sure to class it up with a single orange. <laughs> Yes, that'll do it. Ah, uh, yes, truly a delicious cake. You go right up there. Guess I should do something with the rest of these donuts. Which, honestly, I'm feeling kind of lazy. And when I'm feeling lazy, that's when I like to rely on my handy dandy bucket. Okay, let's put that there. And in you all go. And just pick up the rest of these. Can't forget these ones over here. Okay, now I've got my big bucket of briquettes. Let's go ahead and make a glaze that's totally original. Let's add some dark chocolate. And some nice oranges. Now, the oranges are going in here. So that we can get them nice and blended. In fact, what the hell? What else can we throw in there? Let's grab a couple of carrots. Das, das war mir gerade so klar. Der hat gerade so Orange reingeworfen. Was kann man dann noch reinwerfen? I recommend you try eating with the skin still on. Wait, can I fit a whole pumpkin in here? <laughs> well, looks good to me. <laughs> well, I don't feel like that's blending up. Now I'm committed. We need the pumpkin in there. I mean, normally you would want to cook the pumpkin, but I'm not choosy. And since it's probably a little thick in there now, let's go ahead and add this peanut oil just to make sure everything flows freely. And let's give it a hint of sweetness with three bottles of maple syrup. Syrup. One, What the fuck? two, three. <laughs> ah, my cup runneth over. Delicious. And give it a good <laughs> blend. Okay, let's take our miracle for all. Oh, Dump it all in with my chocolate. Feels like there's something still in there. Ah, big piece of pumpkin. <laughs> Lovely. Now we take our wonder mixture, bring it over to the stove top. Turn on all the burners for absolutely no reason. Pick up the blowtorch. Apply a little extra heat for moral support. Okay, donuts, you ready? Down the hatch. <laughs> now we just shake this mixture all around, and there we go. Delicious fresh donuts and that piece of pumpkin for some reason. Well, we have a couple truly delectable items up for sale now, as well as some smaller offerings. Das ist da unten ist die gesunde Platte. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Yeah. We gotta take a picture for the gram. Okay, hold still, little guy. Ah, uh, yes, it's like a cake crime scene photo. Okay, now it's time to sell our baked goods. To do that, we just head over to the clock and end the day. And then we get to see what sells. Of course the two cakes do. People don't seem to like the donuts despite the marinade. Or the blue things. But they seem to really like those charcoal hearts. Ooh, and thank God. I got 15 reactions on my murder photo. And what? No one wanted this piece of pumpkin? Sacrilege. Okay, now I'm curious of something. Can I just place one of these guys here? Throw a bunch of firecrackers all over the place. And I do mean a couple. Oh, those are my cookies. Fresh out of the oven. And let's just serve them around and on top of the fireworks. Yep, just work with what you got. And now we have a big old pile of delectable oh, man, cookies. Man, so if I go ahead and just start one yep. of these. Okay, quickly, let's end the day. Oh, yep, people are trying to buy stuff. And at the same time, there seems to be a little problem. I like how all the explosions didn't deter people from buying stuff. Including on the ground and these big oben, piles eh? over here. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and call that a successful haul. And you know, I've got one more idea we're going to try. Okay. 
the scene is set once more. Okay, so wie den Kindern auf jeden Fall nicht beigebracht von wegen ähm was soll ich mal nicht essen, das verkauft sich ja. Oh. What the <lacht> treat for you. I was trying to figure out if we could break out of here and see the place from the outside. And wouldn't you know, I found a way. So you got these drawers here, right? If you open one up and you're too close to it, it pushes you away. But if you pull out your phone at the same time, you end up inside the drawer. Now when you put your phone down, you get popped out again. So if you keep this one open, and then kind of stand at an angle next to the other one, and then do this little trick, when you come back out, ta-da, you're outside the level. And of course, everything's kind of broken out here since you're not supposed to see it. And now we can see just how beautiful everything looks from what? the outside. You know what they say, a party Hatte without cake is just a meeting. An explosion in my bakery is just another day at the office. So I hope you had fun, I know I did. I'm just gonna hang back here and embrace the warm glow. <laughs> <lacht> das war schon gut. Ich muss aber trotzdem sagen, es gibt auch bessere von ihm. Also, ja. das hier ist, also, ist, äh, würde ich jetzt fast sagen, äh, ist fast ein schwaches, dafür, dass es so viele bessere no äh, noch gibt, aber ähm, es, ist, es ist trotzdem großartig. Also, wie der das einfach falsch spielt und so. Das stimmt, das, ja. Auf die Ideen muss man erstmal kommen, ne? Ja, also, das auf jeden Fall. Ich würde an der Stelle auch sagen und vorschlagen, schaut euch auch gerne weitere Videos von Let's Game It Out an. Also ist sehr zu empfehlen, sehr spaßig, wenn man ein bisschen Englisch versteht, natürlich umso besser. Und ja, dann sage ich einfach, sehen wir uns im nächsten React wieder. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen, schaltet auch mit beim Blind Spectator rein und dann sehen wir uns im nächsten React. Haut rein. Ciao.